and dear friends, uh, once again welcome. Uh, we are talking about the truss structure. in which two force member concept so why a member is subjected to two force and why it is called as two force member so here with the help of this figure so this is the truss structure and uh, at uh, the ends A and B two supports are there at A hinge support is there at B roller support is there okay and at C P force is acting okay uh, now uh, taking example of uh, the member CB so CB either may be subjected to the tensile forces like uh, this way or this way or it may be subjected to the compressive forces like uh, this way or this way ok so that's why we see it as two force member ok this ko uh, separately draw kare to like ye ho gaya ye ho gaya in the case of tensile and uh, it may be like this this in the case of compressive in the case of compressive and this is in the case of tensile force so this is the concept of a two force member why it is known as the member is known as the two force member thank you